Coming up on the final buzzer, Bayon Schluter makes an emphatic return to the starting lineup, and Casey Luongo's offensive brilliance continues. The men's soccer team entered the weekend with a 2-0 record in conference play, and they put that record on the line against St. Thomas Aquinas, who beat the Bears in overtime last year. Less than a minute into the second half, and Bayon Schluter gives the Bears a 1-0 lead. This is Schluter's first game back in the starting lineup after dealing with a leg injury. Later in the half, it's Schluter off a penalty kick. The co-captain scores his first two goals of the season. Not sure what the goalie was thinking there, but the Bears go to 3-0 in ECC play. Fast forward to Wednesday. The Bears hosting Nyack in a non-conference match. And remember that Schluter guy from the last game? Well, he did his thing again. Schluter puts the Bears up 1-0 off a corner kick. And in the second half, Schluter off a penalty kick. Stop me if you've heard this before. And just for good measure, Martinez finds Schluter in front of the net for the hat trick. Keep in mind, Schluter had a hat trick against Nyack last year as well. The Bears have now won five of their last seven games. The women's soccer team entered the weekend looking for a win against St. Thomas Aquinas, and that's a team they've beaten 20 out of 22 times in their history. Casey Luongo has really caught fire offensively. She's able to sneak one past the keeper. Luongo has now scored four goals in the last five games. Late in the match, Carla Lefloix Sabe scores her first career goal off a penalty kick. The Bears win it 2 0 and advance to 2 0 1 in conference play. Now for Tuesday's match against the Chestnut Hill Griffins. The Bears took control of this game early. Dominique Bono scores her first career goal, and the Bears would pile it on. Luongo tallies her fifth goal of the season. Hannah Franco would score twice. Kelly Gertis scored twice. And Nicole Genus comes up with another shutout. That's her third shutout in four games. The Bears cruise to a 7-0 victory to get back to 500. So both soccer teams combined to go 4-0 this week, but they're going to be tested this Saturday when they make the trip up to Bridgeport. Both soccer teams for the Purple Knights currently hold playoff spots, and we'll have all those highlights for you next week here on The Final Buzzer. I'm John Piersos, and I'll see you then.